We are back. It's you know, it's been two years. We're on the carpet. We are so excited to be celebrating this final season with y'all. I know you were still filming, uh, but have you let yourself start to get emotional yet? Oh God, no. No, there's no time for emotions on this set. I've been up since three in the morning. Got no time. Um, no, I, I'm sure toward the end we will begin to get emotional, um, but not yet. Not right now. We got a lot of work to do. Well, I know that you are back in that director's chair again this season. Are you already wrapped up with your episode? No, my episode is um, co-mingled with Mandy's and co-mingled with Justin's. Oh my gosh. So we have a, a big, a big This Is Us trilogy kind of happening where we're all kind of working together. We're like, we're actually really working together, which is nice. Um, and they're both so wonderful behind the monitor. Um, behind the camera, um, and we even have uh, Susan and Christy writing episodes this season, which is great. Um, and you know, just hats off to Dan, he was given opportunities. And even like you know, younger writers that may not get a chance to like have an actual episode of TV under their belt, leaving a show. Like Dan's given people a shot. I think it's wonderful. He's he's really he's really just the best best boss to work for. What was the advice that you kind of have been commingling and, and giving to Mandy and Susan and, and, and Chrissy here about, you know, stepping behind the camera? What kind of what kind of tips have you all shared with each other? Uh, there's nothing I need to say. They're pros. They know what they're doing. I mean, look, Mandy Moore's been on sets for a very, very long time, and, and Susan knows what she's doing, and Chrissy knows what she's doing. Um, for me, the only thing I can do is just support, you know, be, be there and and. and and be there to, to listen to what they're looking for. And when we're working with seven-year-olds that maybe, you know, their attention flies off like a butterfly, uh, you know, got to grab it and pull it back. Um, just be their support. That's it. What has both the experience in front of and behind the camera taught you about yourself as an actor and director? What have you learned through these six years? Oh, man. Um, I mean, I started directing when I was 25, so that was a long time ago now. Um, Quite a bit under your belt. Yeah, yeah, I kind of did. I kind of did. Um, but I, but I think you know, for me, it's just it's, it's it all comes out of communication. You know, being able to communicate clearly what you need, communicate calmly what you need, and do it on a clock. Uh, honest to God, you know, because our crews they work so hard. They bust they bust their butts to 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 help us, not help us to make the show together. So, you know, as long as you can be efficient with your time and, and your budget and things like that, I mean, I think that's just, it's, it's a good thing to do. Well, looking back over the history of this series and, and kind of the legacy of the series, because I've asked a couple of people, you know, how did this series change television? Um, but I, I do want to know from you, what is the scene or the sequence that will kind of always stick with you? Oh, man. I mean, I've got so many with Mandy. So many with Mandy. I, th I think some of the, some of the heartbreaking ones, like the, the arguments in the in the front of uh, the series, the arguments. Um, I think one of the ones that probably was the hardest for me, you know, uh, Jack dealing with the loss of his brother, like shutting him out, um, admitting to his teenage daughter he has a drinking problem. Um, wow, just just you know trying to like boost up his kids and build his kids up all the time and give them you know that strength that they need to go through life not knowing that he wasn't going to be around for for their adult lives so you know things like that it's, there's there, there's a ton of memories there's so many i'd have to go back and rewatch the show like oh yeah we did that can, can you see yourself doing that would would you, i mean it's a pretty emotional roller coaster so i don't know if i advise it i'll be honest like i still haven't rewatched gilmore girls i have not rewatched heroes so it's it, it this is us is in queue behind those two I think American Dreams might have just come out in some place. Mob City just came out. I haven't watched any of those yet. I usually watch them as they happen, uh -huh. and then I get away from them. Maybe to return at some point, but I don't know. So you will be sitting in front of your TV watching the, both the premiere and the finale. You're not going to be like, this one might be too emotional? No, 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 I'll be watching. But usually, so Mandy and I kind of have a tradition where we'll actually watch together. So I kind of have a feeling that like we'll probably try and do that again. You know, you know, you can't can't break tradition at the very, very end of the road. I, um, I do have to ask you, though, um, about essentially the hell that that Jack put uh, the slow cooker community through that has now led to like. <laughs> it's true. It's what it was. Well, I mean, it has led to like Chris Noth having to do a commercial with Ryan Reynolds over Peloton. But I but I but I did one. I did. I did one with Crockpot. Yeah. 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 You did. So you kind of started this trend. 
I think that and mustaches. I think mustaches became cool again because of Jack. Uh, what a, terrible Towels became cool because of Jack? I don't think anybody knew what a Terrible Towel was. But then I, I, I don't know if they were paying attention to Terrible Towel or what was behind it. I don't know. Uh, what else will be Jack's legacy between, between all of those? I'd like, like to hope it's, it's the heart of the man. Truly. Truly the heart of the man because, you know, he is, he's, has his flaws. He has his greatness. But I think he has this golden heart where he's really trying his best. And sometimes his best falls short, but still, like, people have to try their best and be recognized for trying their best. I think it's a very admirable quality that that I'm hoping people lock onto with Jack. Not the more than the mustache, more than the terrible towel, you know, more than any of that. It's just you know he's a man who tried really hard and did his best, and he might have been misguided in some moments, but he really was wanting to give everything to his wife and his kids. What else do you want to tell the people about season six? Is there anything literally else that you're allowed to say? No, there's nothing. Well, but we'll be on the air soon. Yes. Yes. January 4th, we will all be crying in front of our televisions for uh, the next, like, you know, 12 weeks. Or actually, gosh, way longer weeks than that. How many episodes do you guys? 18, 18 weeks. Episodes still, but I think, I think it may be rolling out over 20 weeks, 21 weeks. So it's like there's not going to be those big, long breaks that there typically are. Because we, we actually, we're not good at waiting for secrets. I'm not good at waiting now knowing that I'm going to find out what happens in the premiere in like two weeks. Yeah, I know. It's crazy, right? Is it crazy? I, yeah, it's pretty wild. Yeah. I think so. I think it's pretty great. I, I think it's pretty great. Okay, all right. yeah. You guys haven't done the final episode table read yet, right? We don't do table reads. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, we don't. We just read the scripts and jump on set and go. All right, so there will be no documentary watching all of you cry as you watch it? I don't, I don't think so. Probably not. Maybe, maybe, who knows? I mean, I don't know what they're going to try and do the last season. That's different. You know, why, why change the, the punch mix? Who knows? Yeah, it's been working so far. Yeah. Well, congratulations on all things, including the Critics' Choice nomination oh, as yeah, well. Yeah. yeah, it's not, you know, it's nice the show still gets recognized.